Find the female that pleases me. Before I can decide what her folks is worth, they decide that I ain't worth nothing. Uh, how come? Evidently, your love making lacks a subtle touch. Touch? Well, I ain't never try to borrow from them much. Bald Eagle, this is dangerous. That bullet must be removed quickly. This is unnerved you. My hands are steadier. Have you had experience with this sort of thing? A little. Well, then by all means, take the knife. His life must be saved. I can feel it. Steady. Hold his shoulder. There it is. You don't happen to have some whiskey on the outfit, do you? No, but I have some very good grain alcohol. That's even better. Let me have it. 
This may save you. Can you stand it? I stand. Ouch. We dasn't risk taking him to the doctor. He might talk. And then we'll all get in a jam. Sounded like someone shooting a snake. Stuff critters. I, I thought you'd been a hunting. Well, no. Uh, you see, I'm a taxidermist. I have secured these specimens for a museum. Taxidermist? That's a new kind of critter on me. You must be quite an expert in your line, mister. Well, yes, rather. But how do you arrive at that deduction? Judging from the value of those road agents placed on a load of stuffed animals, they must be mighty valuable. Well, that is a personal score. I run the trading post. No doubt they have something against me, but I'm sure they're not interested in specimens. In that case, they might come back if you were left alone with an injured companion. Walla Walla and I better uh, ride guard with you into town. Aren't you the obliging papoos? Say, we got to find labor with plenty of grub guaranteed. My, my innards are just plum empty. Well, I would certainly appreciate the security of your company. And naturally, I would want to pay you for your time. Well, uh, what's holding us up? Right up, Hadn't we better have the doctor look after your friend? I'd rather not. My daughter Helen is an excellent nurse. She'll take care of Bald Eagle. Just place him there. This is my daughter, Helen, Mr. Uh... James Lloyd is the name. Jim, for short. How do you do? Uh, Wiggins is the name, uh, Walla Walla, for short. <laughs> Mr. Lloyd removed the bullet, but we must be careful of complications. Would you boys help me bring in the specimens? Do be careful. We mustn't damage the animal. Well, tell your menagerie to give me the same break, will you? Those 
men who shoot me, they know what we carry. Those men who help us, they know not. Shh. We'll learn that later. makes these animals so all fired heavy. Shut up, you windbag. Or we'll never learn the answer. Picked up Haldane's trail. Was he carrying gold? I can't say. Just as we bore down on him, some gang opened fire on us. They hit Cactus. Killed him? Well, mostly. He checked out. And you muffed your chance to secure Haldane's gold. What makes you so certain that old man Haldane is shipping gold? This letter from a friend states that he's assayed large shipments of placer gold shipped by Milton Haldane from this town. And Helen Haldane's balance at my bank has been increased at regular intervals by checks from Senator Cardin's gold mills. This engine, Bald Eagle, might be made to talk. He's been seen a lot with Haldane. Try him. Try him? I'll make him talk. at the bank are in bad shape, but that gold will set me straight. Mr. Cutting will be back shortly. Would you wait? Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. That's all right. Cutting's my name. Lloyd's my name. Have you any mail for me? I uh, guess. Staying with us, Mr. Lloyd? I'll tell you better in a minute. I'd like to uh, open an account with the bank. Oh, I've roamed the west a looking for a lady I could hold. I've loved and kissed them all, gal darn, a sweetheart brave and bold. But now I've found the one I want and I don't care who knows. 
I'll rope and splice this one for life, my dainty sagebrush rose. Do you mean it? What is your business, Mr. Lloyd? Prospecting. Well, I don't want to appear discouraging, but this district has proven a total bust to all gold seekers. Maybe they don't know what I do. Well, this country could stand a little boom. I hope you locate gold. I have already, uh, of a sort. Well, goodbye, Mr. Cutting. Good luck, Mr. Lloyd. This is the chance that I've been waiting for. Have you seen Walla? I'll teeter him on a rail if he keeps that up. Come on, you thing and Romeo. We got riding to do. Don't hurt him, but bring him in here. Don't lie to me, Bald Eagle. I know you're working with Milk Haldane for gold. I don't know Hilden fine gold. 
I work with no man. Then how did you get that plugged shoulder? How you know my shoulder plugged? I heard in town that you got shot up. Now listen, Eagle. I can make it worth your while. You work with me, and we'll split half and half. No. Turn them loose, boys. I'll bring friend to wiki up. We we'll talk some more. You can go now. Shucks, we've heard enough. Why don't we knock those umbrellas over and take them in? This letter I received from Dad has been steamed open. I think at the bank. I want to see if I can tie cutting in with that murder gang. Well, let's make them talk. I can't have anything up here with my lovemaking. I don't mind argument, but do you mind explaining why the attempt on our lives? We got diggings in these parts and thought that you were claim jumpers. That's weaker than skim milk, mister. What do we do with them, Jim? Let's decide. There ain't a fair no lot with my love making. Take a good look at it. More coffee, Steve? No, thanks, Helen. You coming downtown? Sorry, you must be going. Good night, Helen. Good night. I wanted to ask you a serious question. But I guess it'll have to wait. You must come often.
I was about to tell you about myself when that uh, banker intruded. Jim, I didn't ask you any questions about yourself. If I can't study a man's character, then I haven't any right to know. That's right. But I was considered enough to think you were interested. Kidding aside, I think you should know why I'm here. Jim, you've been good enough not to ask questions about us. Well, I've been curious. But I knew you were fine and, and all to the good. Oh, my Rosie, my sagebrush rose divine. There may be other females, but sagebrush rose is mine. Better let me handle them, Rose. Wait a minute, Helen. Let me check. your hands and stay where you are. <laughs> you better close that door. Your best friends are going to have to smell you. Is he still here? Well, I saw him come in and I ain't seen him leave. I can't tell whether it's me or smell or him. You, you, you better get out of here, Rosie. Sure, and you're no nose gay yourself. Doggone if something ain't always interfering with my lovemaking. I'm sure he's gone. <coughs> Sorry the shot awoke you, Dad. Just a little gentleman from the woods, but he's gone. I'm dead for sleep. Good night, dear. Good night. Good night, Jim. Good night. Jim, you could have asked questions about us. I knew something like this existed. But if you had trusted me, you would have explained. I couldn't, Jim. It wasn't my secret alone. Father and Bald Eagle discovered the gold. The Indians mine it. If you hadn't told me about it. Jim, I know I can trust you, even knowing what you do. I was certain those bandits weren't trying to steal stuffed animals. Dad's been worried about that. But he's so intent on helping the Indians and bettering their conditions that he determined to risk your finding out. Promise you'll keep Dad's secret? I promise. Word of honor. Thanks, Jim. Is that a promise? That's more than a promise. That's a pledge.
We trailed Haldane in the engine. They grew suspicious and switched trails. Did you locate their diggings? No, but I did find Haldane's hideout. There's a bunch more animals waiting to be stuffed. I must have at least 20,000 cash. Helen has more than that on deposit. If I could only find some way. Listen to this carefully. There's a way for us to get the money to cover my shortage and prevent it ever being known. And at the same time, we take over their diggings. Suppose you could round up another pledge? The reward for valor is given only after the reward is earned. That's enough to bring me back. Doggone, something's always interfering with my lovemaking. Steve, what can I do for you? Helen, I've just discovered something I think you should know. Is Lloyd about? No. I believe he went prospecting. He's gone to rob your dad of his gold diggings. My father's gold diggings? Dad has no holdings. Read that. Mr. James Lloyd, dear sir, the information in your last letter is of great importance. If you have located the Haldane mine, stake it out at once in our name. Our influence is such that we can operate while the case, if any should result, is being tried. You will receive the usual 30% of all gold secured. Should you need working capital, draw on us. Sincerely, O.H. Doty, President. How did this letter get into your hands? I've been suspicious of Lloyd for some time. His mail comes to my bank. Knowing he represented crooked mining interests, I opened his letters. You know what the federal authorities do to people who tamper with the mails. I did a few, Helen. I won't let this crook sweep you away from me. I've got to get to Dad before Jim locates him. They can't travel fast with pack animals. By taking the North Trail, I'll reach Dad first. I'll fetch your horse. My darling, I can't be left behind when there's trouble afoot. And good luck. Hide the horse and duck the draw. Quiet, Haldane. We ain't aiming to harm you.
Dad, I'm glad we beat Jim here. Dad, Jim must never learn the location of your gold. Now, Rose, put up that gun. It might hurt you. Sure, and I'll do nothing of the sort. Oh, let me keep it for you. <laughs> Buck, come here. Bring that snooper in. Dead or alive? I'm not particular. Grab a handful of ozone. Step inside and take it easy or I'll blast you. Steve! Helen, I thought I might help you. But this man got the drop on me. I'm sorry you've become involved in this matter. Who's in charge here? I'll do the pow Alan. Perhaps we can settle this with money. Now you're talking my language. Say, uh, what rhymes with divine? Oh, uh, brine, wine, slime, mine, mine. That's it. Listen, this is the honey. I'm a happy Roman puncher, just a rollicking through life. I've tramped a lot and worked a bit, but now I want a wife. Oh, my rose, my sagebrush rose divine. I'm asking you to change your name and take the same as mine. How's that? Still terrible. Why is it I have to listen to this all the time? You, you don't like it? Them checks don't mean anything to me. We'll ride into town and you'll hand over the cash. I'm sure that'll be all right with Miss Haldane. Sorry to have caused you all this trouble. Al. Come along, Cuddy. These men, get your money and then maybe come back. We better hurt the mine. In a minute, Eagle. Helen, how did you learn of Jim's trickery? Steve discovered it. We'd better leave before Jim and Walla arrive. You're not going to be calling my bottle a crook, nor devil a budge will I make. I don't accuse Walla. No doubt he's as trusting as I've been. Well, come on, we'll be moving then. I'll come back with the cash. You trail them and locate the diggings. Right. Haldane? We got your reinforcements. I thought they'd have grub already. No doubt they'd gone to the diggings. Well, let's unload the supplies. I ain't interested in unloading. Loading's what I'm planning. <coughs>
Let's get down there and operate. Take it easy. Let them work. We'll clean the sluices. be enough for today. Dad, this dirt is very rich. Rose and I have taken out two sacks. We'll weigh it when we get back to camp. Dad, Jim will no doubt be at camp. Is there no place we could sleep and avoid his even finding us? Well, we must face him or go without food. Let's see what that pay dirt looks like. Come on, Walla. We're going to find those diggings. Ah, oh, you're always doing something to interfere with my pleasure. Not forgetting us poor people. We watched you working, and you enjoyed it so much we couldn't rob you of the pleasure. These horses don't belong to Eagle or Haldane either. Look what's this. Now let's all go back to the shack and share out. Boys, bring the horses. No telling how many there are of them. We can't stand battle. Some of our people might get hurt. Well, some of them are probably going to get damaged in the with my love, Megan. Well, I'll go through the front door and they'll pick me up. When they do, you come through the rear and cover them. I'll be there. And plumb still and don't turn around. I said stand still or you'll be horizontal permanent.
We couldn't understand what kept you. Helen, you didn't tell me you were coming here. I didn't know your purpose till after you left. What do you mean, my purpose? I was delivering supplies for your father. I refer to your real purpose. Helen, uh, I don't understand what you're talking about. Maybe this letter addressed to you can explain better than I could. Dad, we'd better get away from here in case those others come back. And leave the gold for those men without fighting for it? Where did you get this letter? Mr. Cutting. Can't you see his trick in giving it to you? His only trick was to warn me of gold raiders. Don't you think he figured that you would warn your father against me? And by following you, he'd locate your father's claims? Do you deny the truth of that letter? Yes. I'm not interested in any gold company. I'm here to check up on Indian affairs for my father, Senator Cardin. Are you Jim Cardin's boy? Certainly. He knew of this Indian gold and he wanted to see if the Indians' interests were protected. Hey, Cardin, turn us loose and we'll turn state's evidence. Cutting in the rest of them will be back. You take your dad, Rose and Eagle, and get out of here. Walla and I can take care of this. Aren't you coming with us? We'll be right behind you. And then when they come... Quick, get out of here. Right into hiding. Cutting back. I'll help the others. Right. But you're no good clerk if only Jim wants to talk to you. Come on, get up and get going.
Hold it. Well, fancy meeting you here. Come on, Emery, climb in the rumble seat. All right, get going. Nice work, Bald Eagle. Jim Carden. Thank you. Hey, Jim. Take these paper box heroes. I gotta find Rosie. Oh. Oh. Now you're gonna explain to Miss Haldane about that letter. Why should I? Come along, Cuddy. Now tell her the truth. And so I lied, Helen. Saying that I'm sorry won't help much. But I am. Jim, I'm hoping saying I'm sorry will help a lot. Is that a promise? 